Well, good morning and welcome to Absolutely Positively. I am your host and I am super excited about today. Why? Because today is the day that the Lord made, of course. (laughs) Anyway, no, thank you so much for being here with me today. I am over the moon excited about today and what this episode is going to bring. It is amazing um, on this journey of discovery with the absolutely positively world. I have delved into more quotes than ever before. And for that, it brings me so much joy and inspiration, motivation, and encouragement that I get doubly excited to share all of those things with you. And so I think that this is so good for me, and I hope that it's good for you because I really enjoy researching and I really enjoy um, looking into things for you in order to help you start your week off, uh, sustain you through the week if possible, and just create a safe space for you to come to. Whenever you need a little pick-me-up, I hope you are going to YouTube, clicking on the Mute Moga Media um, page and finding your inspiration because you should already, or getting your notifications because you should already be uh, signed up. And if you're not, go ahead and do it now. Mute Moga Media and click subscribe so you get those notifications and when Denny K comes with the absolutely positively you will be ready because that's what I do that's what my friends do and I hope you as a new viewer today will do so do the same but anyway if you're new speaking of new if you're new um let me just tell you a little bit about what we do here if you don't know already so absolutely positively is this wonderful forum for you to get what I call your IEM, you get inspiration, encouragement, motivation through quotes. I call them my absolutely positively quotes because I am captivated by words. I'm a writer, I'm a poet, but I'm captivated by words and all that they mean. There's a wonderful author named James Baldwin, who talks about words, go look him up as well. But he talks about that. The premise of what he's saying is that words just can mean anything that you put the energy in to them to mean. So in other words, you can go out and, and look at the sky and say, oh, it's blue and get depressed. But you can also go outside and say, look at the sky, it's blue. And blue is more than just a color. It is a disposition. It's a feeling. So we can attach so much energy and feeling to words. And so with that being said, if there are several words that are strung together in such a wonderful way, they can plant seeds of inspiration and encouragement and motivation for you to just go to the next level. Because this is what this is all about. And that's why it's called Absolutely Positively, because we want to positively and absolutely place you into your calling, something that God planted long ago. And sometimes you need a little watering. Sometimes you need a little sun. Sometimes you need just that little mm to get you going. And absolutely positively is the place. And so how do we do that? How do we do that? You say, um, well, we do that by quotes. As I mentioned before, I find quotes Some people actually give me uh, quotes or inspire me uh, with quotes that they post on their page or things that they say. And uh, because as you can tell, I'm a conversationalist. I love to talk and I talk to people and they tell me what quotes or words motivate them and I bring it to you. And then we discuss it. We discuss it, put a different spin on it, a Denny K spin, and then there you have it. We are absolutely positively in the forum ready to get your spark lit, get your engines ruining so you can start your day. And that's why we do this on Monday. The motivational Mondays is what we want. So you can just 
create this space all throughout the week until you see me again. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Now, our first quote, I don't have my jar again today. You know, I, I have an absolutely positively jar, but since so many people are referencing things and um, uh, giving me things, sometimes I just put it on my phone so I can bring it to you. But I promise I'll bring the jar back. And speaking of that, if you have a quote that you want Denny K to flesh out in an absolutely positively way, send those in to Mute Mogul Media. We should start that. And we're starting it today. Send your quotes in that you want me to use on the show. And I will absolutely positively be happy, 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 happy to do that. So we got to start a hashtag on that. And we will. So put yourself on notice. If you're watching now, if you have a quote, a favorite quote, send it in to Mute Mogul Media or to Denny K on our social media, and we'll get that on the show for you. We'd love that, right? All right, here we go. So the my quote today, I really love it because it's kind of out of the box for me. I generally kind of stay in a one little lane here, but every once in a while, I'll sprinkle you some different people that you might not know, um, and we can just dive into that. But this one is by Dodinsky, and this man is just a deep, insightful man um, that uses humor, but uses very thought-provoking words um, to just uh, bring us some stuff to chew on. And he wrote a book called The Garden of Thought. You should really look into that. But this is Dodinsky, and we'll put that um, on the page as well. But this quote, I just absolutely love it because it captured me. A friend sent it to me because she knows of my background, and we'll get right into it. Um, and as if you can see in, the, in my background right now, not my not my history, but my background, my virtual background, probably has something to do with hearts, right? All right, we're going to jump right in. Dodinsky says, to strengthen the muscles of your heart, the best exercise is lifting someone. So this is good. One. Okay. Again, Dodinsky says, to strengthen the muscles of the heart, the best exercise is lifting someone else's spirit whenever you can. Ooh, so, so many ways I can go on this one, but I'm going to start a little bit with my background. Um, other than being a poet and herbalist and writer and, you know, this positive chick that you get to see every week. Part of my background, uh, what I went to school for, was to be in the medical world. And I was a cardiovascular technician, or technologist, really, because I really studied um, all things of the heart. El corazón, if you will. <laughs> a little Spanish for you. So in that journey of being a cardiovascular tech, one of the things I absolutely loved when I would do some of the testing that I would for uh, patients is the description part because the heart is medically one of the most important organs in your body and when, when it comes to feelings when it comes to emotions it's also the same right so it has this dual duality about it that it is so ever life-changing but let somebody break your heart you feel like you're about to die okay <laughs> Um, and if your heart starts pumping one day, you're going to die. Okay. Um, so one of the job, one of my jobs was to try to calm people down because, you know, if you have some heart problems and people send you to the heart doctor, I'm talking about, there's some fear that you don't want to experience, you know, um, I say dentists also. People don't like to go to the dentist, but definitely don't like to go to the um, heart doctor. And so one of the things uh, that I would tell people about the heart is your function and that the best way to keep your heart going and pumping is to exercise and what you eat. And a lot of people don't like to do that. Um, so one of the things I would suggest is things that you love to do. 
like dancing, you know, even sweeping, but just do it in consistent uh, fashion. Just do it consistently. And just some of those things were good for your heart, you know, meditation. And so we would just go into some of those things, but it's just really exercising your heart because think about it, the heart is moving and grooving 24 seven, 24 seven. And you need a little break sometimes uh, with the heart, but no, the heart doesn't give that to you. The heart just does what it does. And so you gotta get the heart together, right? So my premise in that is you have to put it in action in order to get the reaction that you want with your heart. You have to create a space doing things that you love in order to keep that heart moving and grooving, right? So that was, I love telling people that, you know, finding something to get that heart going, walking, like I said, swimming. It didn't always have to be that exercise that you're looking for. Um, but Dodinsky goes into this, what, which I think is wonderful. And he says the best exercise. So automatically we think, oh man, I, I I, I got to strengthen somebody else's, the muscles of my heart. I got to go do something else. No, he's saying not about dancing, not about swimming, but he's saying do something for someone else. He's saying lifting someone else's spirit. So this wonderful play on words and that if you want your heart to be strengthened, and now we're talking about the emotional side and the, really the physical side. If you want to feel alive again, if you want those juices pumping and, and that blood flowing and the strengthening of their heart to sustain your life, you got to do some heavy lifting and think about someone else and lift their spirits up and get their heart moving. Wow, what, what a concept, right? This is really what this work is about. I am trying to lift your spirits. I'm trying to encourage you by words. And so what can you do in order to lift someone's spirit whenever you can and however you can? We are charged to do that. The Bible tells us to love one another, you know, so yeah, you can love yourself, but love one another. Do something to let somebody feel uh, noticed, to feel loved, to be, feel important, to feel like they have a place in this world. And in doing that, you're going to feel good about it. It's going to strengthen your heart. It's going to shave some... Um, some tiredness energy off your life. It's going to extend your life a little bit. Um, the, what we do for others, do unto others that you would have them do unto you. That's probably a better one instead of the love one another. Do unto others that you would have them do unto you. But this is just beautiful because we, Dodinsky takes the physicality of it by saying, you want to strengthen those heart muscles? You want to strengthen those muscles? exercise. And if you start right there, you automatically think, oh, okay, I got to lift weights. Oh my God, I got to go do something I don't want to go do. Well, you know, there are some people out there that really like to exercise, unlike me. But this right here, Dodinsky, I can do. I can do this type of exercise because I do it every week for you. And so that's my charge for you today. What can you do to strengthen your heart and strengthen someone else's? Can you go see someone at the grocery store and pick up their baggage and say, hey, ma'am, I got that for you and bring a smile to their face. Hey. Can you can you go spend a little time with uh, someone in a retirement hey. home? Can you go, bless you, my producer back there sneezing. <laughs> can you go read a book to someone in the children's, a unit of a hospital. And, and maybe you don't have to do something so um, grandiose. Maybe you could just go in your own family and call someone, send them a text, give them a word, do something extraordinary and help them. God bless you, producer. But anyway, that has been our show. I hope that this has given you some 
insight on how to strengthen your heart and help others absolutely positively. This has been our show. I am so super, super, super excited about this quote because I have a good feeling about it. I'm super, super excited about what you're going to do with this quote and let it be your charge for today. No matter where you go, whatever, what you do, no matter how you do it, do it in love. Do it to strengthen someone's heart. Do it to strengthen your heart and do it absolutely positively. That is the premise for today. It's been my absolute pleasure being with you today. And don't forget, send those quotes in and um, continue being the wonderful, absolutely positively person that you are. Until our show next week. And let me go get my producer some allergy medicine. <laughs> you never know what you're going to get on this show. And that's what I love about it. Absolutely. Positively. I'm your host, Denny K. Don't forget to subscribe. Eat Mogul Media. 3Ms, baby. Take care. Talk to you soon.